Hello, I'm Andre from Luziogenic and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a physics-based springboard. Now a real springboard it's actually a wooden board that is fixed at one point and flexes up and down. In order to mimic this behavior we're going to use a rigid body that rotates around a certain point. So let's see this in action. So I've already made it and we have a sphere here that it's gonna fall onto it. So let's see how it behaves. So as you can see, if we grab it and let it go, it will come back to its original horizontal position and it will only move up and down, but not left and right. So let's see how we can implement this. So we'll use two static meshes and a physics constraint. The first mesh is going to be the base and it's going to be stationary. The second mesh is going to be the board and it's going to be rotating around this point here. In order to keep the board in place and to make it come back to the horizontal position right here, we're going to use a physics constraint that is going to act in this point. So let's go ahead and create the actor. So you can go ahead and create the static meshes. We're just going to use cubes. So I'll scale it down. and duplicate it for the board and just modify its length and material so we can see it better and we just drag it in place now we can add the physics constraint Now, because the uh, board is going to be mobile, we have to simulate physics. So it calculates its position uh, if it's affected by other physics objects or by gravity. So now uh, we have to link the two objects together with the physics constraint. And we do that by filling in their names here, the component names. And we see they're colored now. That means that they're connecting with the physics constraint. And in order to have a normal interaction between the two, we actually have to disable the collision. Because if we leave the collision, so this will disable the collision between the two, but each object will collide with the rest of the world. So if we leave the collision between the two, it's going to jump around and it's going to... Uh, have a buggy movement. So now we can just test, test it like this and see how it works. So let's just get this out of the way. Drag the actor in. So this, the rotation doesn't actually matter. We'll just put it like this so we can see it better. So if we simulate it like this, we can see that it it, the rotation is free, the only the uh, linear movement is limited, it's completely locked, but the rotation it can rotate around all of the axes. Now, if we look closely, we can, we can see the pivot point is right here, and that is not good, we, sh we have to fix it. So the pivot point is not actually the pivot point of either objects, it's actually the location of the um, of the physics constraint in relation to the mobile object. So I have to drag it here and this will fix the rotation pivot. Now in order, so we have to mm, allow it to rotate only in the vertical plane which is perpendicular to the y-axis. So for that we lock everything and just unlock 
the vertical plane we can see it represented here by the disk now it now it is free to move however it likes so we actually have to make it stay horizontally okay so we can do that uh, by we have two solutions for that we can either use a soft constraint or an angular motor so the first solution using a soft constraint we have to limit the movement uh, vertically and as you can see by default it's 45 degrees around the horizontal but we are actually limiting to zero so it should stay frozen in place but because we're activating here a soft constraint it will actually use a spring a simulated spring to uh, hold the object in place and the stiffness of this spring is defined here so we, ju we just raise this okay and see how it goes let's see how it goes so now we can see that it comes back and it actually it moves only vertically and it comes back now the only issue would be that it wobbles too much if you want to reduce the wobbling you can uh, you you can increase the damping so let's say we set it to 50 and now if you go back and try to do this again you can see it wobbles a lot less okay now this has actually has a limitation uh, if the, the forces acting on this are too great it can actually bend too far so if we rotate too far from the original position and it will start to shake like this so if we wanted to limit let's say it doesn't go more than 40 degrees we actually have to use the other solution so the other solution is using an angular motor so for that we disable the soft constraint and make the swing limit larger let's say 40 degrees so now it can move freely uh, with 40 degrees around the horizontal but in order to hold it in place horizontally we have to add an angular motor so here we can, uh, because we're using swing motion, we have to select twist and swing and check the swing option. Now this actually defines a certain orientation in which the motor is trying to keep the object. But because we already having, we have the object already in the position that we want we just leave this to zero 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 okay here we define the strength of the motor let's say 1500 and this is actually different from what we've seen before with the soft constraint because who here we actually had a spring holding the object in place but for this option it's it's a force it's a continuous force that it acting, it's acting upon the object to keep it in place. So uh, uh, if we want dampening, damping for the movement, we have to also activate the target velocity also for the swing. And we leave it at zero because we want it to... This means that it's going to try to make it stand still and we raise this to 50 for example so now if we try it again so same thing happens it wobbles it's come it comes back but it doesn't go more than 40 degrees so no matter the force that we apply to it it's not gonna go farther than 40 degrees So, this uh, should be already good. Okay, the only thing 
you can do is if you want this object to disappear let's say you want to have the board in media midair not supported by anything so you have two things that you have to do one is make it invisible which you can do by either searching so you, you select the base and search visible so if you uncheck visible it will be invisible in the editor and in game but if you want it only to be visible uh, in the editor but not in game search for hidden so if you check hidden that means it will be hidden in game but not here so you can see it in the editor if you need it so we leave this like this the other problem would be collision so if you want it to not collide you have to go ahead and check here custom collision and for the collision enabled option uh, just make sure that you have at least query only you don't have to have collision enable query and physics just this one and make sure you check ignore everything right here so it will actually collide in a sense but it won't do anything it will just the objects will pass through this so let's try again so you can already see that it's invisible and if we try to collide it with the sphere it doesn't collide but on the other hand the springboard works normally okay so this you maybe you are wondering why we need this object this is because the physics constraint uh, needs two objects to work so and the two objects have to have uh, a mass and have to have at least the query physics collision that I showed you before if these conditions are not met the uh, physics constraint will not work at all so this is it I think the only thing you would maybe want is uh, have this breakable so it, if there's too much force on the board you might want it to break the constraint so this is done here in the, you can check this angular breakable because we're using angular movement we're going to check this if not you could have used linear breakable also so we have to raise this because if not we might be uh, breaking the constraint even with gravity so we we'll put it to 5000 and let's try it again so yes so it already breaks but let's see how it breaks with the sphere yeah so it breaks and now we can actually drag it anywhere we want it's it's a free ob object now and uh, if we want it we could still re-enable the constraint through blueprints but we're not gonna do that right now so i think this is it i hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.